Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, is one of the Caucasus' largest and most cosmopolitan cities. Few cities in the world are changing as quickly, and nowhere else do East and West seem to blend as seamlessly. Baku sits on the Caspian Sea, and it's the sea's vast oil reserves that have largely determined the economic course of the country. The oil-fueled economic boom is contrasted by the concept of renewable energy, which moves into the world's gaze, strongly fueled by the painful realization of how harmful the large-scale use of petroleum can be. Andrew began working in Azerbaijan providing relief services uh, in 1993. And now after 18 years of serving the Azerbaijani people, he realized it's time to go ahead. And one of the key issues here is climate change. And frankly, we're using technology that is 120 years old. Adra has started building a prototype generator that, if successful, will mean a leap forward in the race towards a renewable energy revolution. Adra is also busy continuing to try keep Azerbaijan green, helping to educate Azerbaijan's internally displaced and most vulnerable people, promoting collaboration and teamwork with some of the nation's dairy farmers. And what we're doing is uh, trying to revive old forgotten technology which works on nature's principles. If revived and combined with state-of-the-art technology, there is real hope that an energy revolution takes place and replaces the old, inefficient, traditional methods of power generation. In 2010, 18,000 litres of gasoline was burned every second in the United States alone. In accordance with Walter Schauberger's calculations, the amount of oxygen needed to burn this amount of gasoline in one second is produced by one tree that has lived for 600 years. One more tree needs another 440 years to fix the carbon dioxide gas produced in that same second. With less than 30% of the Earth's land mass covered by forests, compared to over 60% a few decades ago, it is already too evident what the future will look like. Victor Schauberger was an Austrian forester, naturalist, philosopher, inventor and biomimicrist. He built acutators for airplanes, ships, silent turbines, self-cleaning pipes and water refinement devices. The inventor of what he called implosion technology, Schauberger developed his own energy theories based on fluid vortexes and movement in nature, especially the movement of the mountain trout fish. During World War II, much of Schauberger's work, including patents, drawings and prototypes, was confiscated or otherwise lost. In spite of this, Schauberger's work remains an inspiration to many people in the Green Movement, due to his observations of nature. Adra has spent time and effort in gathering and rediscovering information on his inventions and principles governing nature. Especially intriguing is Schauberger's concept of the suction turbine, which can generate electricity powered by peaceful atomic forces with the use of water, carbon dioxide gas, copper and bipolar elements in a combination of their unique qualities. And that brought us to Lahij, which is the home of coppersmiths in Azerbaijan. The effect that Schauberger's specially designed copper pipes with a conical spiral rifled shape had on water in motion was validated when Professor Franz Poppel of Stuttgart Technical University carried out tests on behalf of the German government in 1952. Francis Bacon, a man who lived 300 years prior to Schauberger, already knew that we cannot command nature except by obeying her. Adra has been working on creating a suction turbine prototype in accordance with Schauberger's concept. 
The suction turbine is powered not by burning fossil fuel, but by the naturally occurring atomic forces of water. The three key operating principles of this suction turbine are allowing water to move naturally, energizing the water through catalysts, and using corresponding but complementary and alternating forces such as suction and pressure, centrifugence and centripetence. All natural dynamic motion consists of at least one of three basic types of movements. Rotational, orbital and circulatory or helical. When combined, they produce a complex form called spiral vortical motion, which nature uses to build, structure and purify. This motion can be widely observed in nature in the movement of air and water. According to Schauberger, if water moves in the spiral vortical way, it seems to cause the least amount of friction. In addition to minimizing friction, diamagnetic catalysts energize the water. Catalysts are bipolar in nature. Gold, copper and limestone are negatively charged, whereas silver, zinc and silicon are positively charged. The opposing charges of these carefully placed materials inside the suction turbine provoke water movement as well. Most contemporary turbines create a rotary movement, primarily through one type of force such as pressure, heat or centrifugal. Schauberger's concept combines two opposing but complementary forces, suction and pressure, which creates a very powerful effect with no heat formation. Olan, yani üst rezervuar bir de alt rezervuar olacak hisseleri içerisinde olan bu iki e, hisse demek borular vasıtasıyla birbirine cehdirilecek ve yukarıdan hmm, fırlanan birinci hisse a small electric motor starts up the turbine rotor to a speed of around 3,000 revolutions per minute. The Venturi effect creates low pressure at the fast-moving tips at the ends of the nozzles and pulls the water up from the upper basin. The kinetic energy of the exiting water creates recoil, generates more thrust and accelerates the rotor to higher speeds. Once the rotor has reached higher revolutions per minute, the suction turbine runs by itself and can be used to generate electricity. He's one of those rare people who can really understand what we want to do. He's one of the best uh, team players that we have. ADRA is confident of its advancements in renewable energy, encouraged by the recent success of a water filtration experiment related to aquaculture. Even after two months of use, the water in this pentagon-shaped aquarium with one fish is still clean and clear. As long as the vortex flow and water is kept moving in the right way, with the use of catalysts like copper, silver and zinc, the water remains clear, without the need for mechanical filters. Further testing is being conducted on a regular basis. Another success has been ADRA's electricity-free water pump. Tabiatın özünün kanunlarından istifade eden bir şey ve elbette yakın ki biz özümüzden hiç necat edemedik. Ama burada e, su hava prensibi. Bunu birine yakın için çalışır. This water pump is made of readily accessible materials and is easy to maintain. The pump rotates at only four revolutions per minute, guaranteeing it a very long lifespan. The scoop takes up water once every revolution, and gravity compresses it further down the coil tube. After every scoop of water, air is sucked into the tube and becomes compressed by the next scoop of water. While the compressed air naturally tends to expand, it forces the water up to a height of 25 meters or more. One of ADRA's latest prototypes currently can pump 8,500 litres per day. And with further development, ADRA believes a much more powerful and efficient pump can be made. This simple technology device can make a big difference in the everyday lives of Azerbaijani farmers. Neft, energy. Neft is not gelecek için bu cümlesi elebilirimse 
Yani nese kurabilir ise, ben hoşbaht olurum. While many look to technology to solve our modern issues, nature offers possibilities with equal or even greater potential. Azerbaijan suffers from widespread deforestation and the increasing effects of desertification. Much of this stems from the effects of worldwide climate change, coupled with the deforestation activities in the early years following independence, as households cut down trees for use as firewood. In line with the Azerbaijan Republic's reforestation efforts, with funding from the United States Department of Agriculture and with the help of other NGOs and government agencies, ADRA established eight tree nurseries and distributed and planted more than two million trees since 1999 in village communities, alongside roads and in some of the outskirts of Baku. In line with ADRA's motto, changing the world one life at a time, two vocational training centers were set up to provide vocational and professional training to over 5,000 internally displaced persons, refugees and other vulnerable individuals since 1999. The vocational training center courses focus on providing participants with the practical skills and the self-confidence to actively pursue local employment opportunities and to generate household income through self-employment. Vocational courses conducted include cosmetology, computer applications, computer repair, dressmaking and tailoring, crochet and welding. Non-vocational courses provided include English language, accounting and business management. The courses, ranging from five months to two years in duration, are well respected within participating communities for their high quality of instruction, practical skills applicability, a transparent evaluation and certification process. The graduates have been successful in both the local and national employment markets and in their creation of sustainable small and micro enterprises. Biz Azerbaycan'da, Azerbaycan saatler ayında süd, sütün değer zencinin inşaatı üzere inşaatı desteklemek böyle bir lahiye hedef kesiliyor. Bu lahiye de esas maksat. In continuation of the recently completed USDA-funded agriculture project involving potato, alfalfa and animal husbandry, ADRA is piloting a milk value chain development project. The project enhances the quality and quantity of raw milk and facilitates the establishment of milk quality control systems by providing technical assistance, training and advice. Mefraget elde edilmesinin esas sebeplerinden biri insanların yanaşma tercihini değişme, onlarda öz özüne kömü eyleme hissini hissi yaratmalıydı. Bu insanlar bir araya geldi, gruplaştı ve öz özüne kömü eylemek iktidarında oldular ve son neticeden maliyet etti. Bu lahiyyədə mənim üçün ən maraqlı olanı lahiyyə çərçivəsində yaranmış qeyri-rəsmi süd istihsalçıları qurubları idi. Çünki bu qurubların yaranması ilə insanların gəlir əldə eləmək imkanları genişləndi ki, bu da onların həyat şərətinin yaşlaşmasına gətirib çıxardı. Azərbaycanda agrar sektorda belə qeyri-rəsmi qurublar formalaşmayıb və bu qurubun bu bir nümunə kimi olacaq ki, insanlar qurublaşmaqla öz özünə, bir-birinə köməkli maliyyət əldə edəcəkdir və öz həyat şərətlərini yaxşılaşdırırıq. ADRA aims to help Azerbaijan become an innovative center of renewable energy development, which could have an impact on other developing nations where electricity is considered a luxury. ADRA's work in Azerbaijan over the past 18 years has transitioned from an initial focus on relief efforts to initiatives and interventions that promote a sustainable future through participation in community development. <laughs> <laughs>